Good day, everyone. Here we are, July 21st. And I thought this week that I would just share with you a reflection that I read this week from Richard Rohr. And he uses the Beatitudes, which are what the, we, the, research, the scripture scholars tell us are the absissima verba Christi, the exact words of Jesus. In the scriptures, we know we don't always know exactly which words came from Jesus' mouth or through the, the evangelists and the, the writers of the scriptures, but pretty sure that the Beatitudes, the words that Jesus first spoke to his disciples to share his vision, were exactly from his mouth. And Richard Rohr takes four of those Beatitudes, and I just want to quickly go through what he was able to say. He, went, he talked about, Blessed are you who are poor, for the reign of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who are now weeping, for you will laugh. And then blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude and insult you and denounce your name as evil on account of the human one. So, blessed are you who are poor. Rohr points out that most of us believe that it's only the rich that are blessed. But scholars tell us that Luke was talking to a poor community, affirming them directly, basically saying we all have gifts. We all are rich in some ways and we share those gifts and we're all poor in some ways. We all have limitations. So blessed are those of us who understand our own poverty, our own limitations, and also understand our riches, but the riches of others and what they have to offer us what we have to offer them. Then blessed are you who are now hungry. Roar is not just reflecting on food that we hunger for, but our hunger for God. He states that we all need a little sense of dissatisfaction with this life because we'll never be totally satisfied this in this life. We need to have a longing and a hunger for God. Then, blessed are you who weep now. Rohr points out that throughout life we grieve so many different losses, but that our grief makes us human, makes us much more compassionate towards one another. It connects us to the human condition and to one another. And finally, he reflects on blessed are you when people hate you and they exclude you and insult you. Rohr reminds us that Jesus realized that he would not be favored by all people, and neither are we, that we cannot find our worth and our happiness in what others think about us. Most of the time, as I tell all the people I work with, people aren't thinking about us at all, they're thinking about themselves and their own needs. So the only person that un totally unconditionally loves us is our God, and we have to get out of our own egos, stop worrying about what people think about us, Know that God loves us and know that there will just be some people who don't like us or disagree with us. So Roar gives us some good things to reflect upon. We all have lots of gifts to offer, and yet we're all limited. We're rich and we're poor, and it's not just about money. That we need to have a longing for God and a dependence on God because this life will never be satis totally satisfying, even if we have everything in the world we want. The grief which we all experience can bring us closer to one another and make us more compassionate. And finally, let's just not worry about what others think about us. Let's do the best we can do and know that the human condition is that not everybody's going to like us. I hope that's helpful. Have a wonderful week and as we continue to enjoy the summer even in the midst of a lot of rain we've had some beautiful days have a good day everybody